What's going on everyone? This is Dom and today we are testing out an autonomous ride hailing service. This is Waymo and it's a company owned by Alphabet which you know also has uh, is a parent company to Google and right now we are about to go on a journey across Phoenix because you know what this is available in Phoenix right now and it's actually pretty crazy. So sit back, relax and uh, let's, uh, let's go ride around. All right, so I am inside of the car right now and all I have to do is press start ride right here. So we are inside of an autonomous ride hailing service right now. This car is driving by itself, which is pretty crazy if you ask me. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can see right there, there's nobody in the driver's seat right here at all. Like nobody whatsoever in the driver's seat. So you're probably asking yourself, why do we need this kind of technology? Why am I even sitting in an autonomous vehicle that's driving me around by itself? Well, hundreds of thousands of people are injured or killed in car accidents all the time. And you know what? Most of that, believe it or not, comes down to human error. And when you take the human error out of the equation, what do you have left? You have the Waymo driver, and there's a lot of technology packed inside of this car here. I mean, we have sensors all over the car. There are cameras, there's LiDAR up top, which can see up to 300 meters in any direction, and we have radar as well to assist in all of this. And what do you get out of that? A very smooth and safe ride. Now, the fact of the matter is, if you've ever been in a car accident, you know how dangerous and scary that can be. And like we've determined, it's mostly human error when that kind of thing happens. It's always human error when that kind of thing happens because there's just humans behind the wheel. But again, we're taking the humans out of the equation with the Waymo driver here to be able to get me from point A to point B safe and sound. So this ride hailing service is something that's definitely coming to a city near you. It's only a matter of when. I mean, Waymo is currently active in three different cities. We have Los Angeles, San Francisco, and here in Phoenix, Arizona. And I think the technology is really, really cool. I mean, this thing knows what it's doing. It's slowing down as we're approaching traffic up here. It's starting to slow down and brake a little bit. And you can see the wheel moving up there by itself. So as you can see here, I have a screen down here that lets me know everything that's going on. There's also another screen up front that tells me that my arrival is in nine minutes at 3.10 p.m. to where I am going. But right here, we do have some options. I can actually have the car pull over if I wanted to. I can call support. We can go into the menu here and I have the ability to view the map. I can put on music if I want to. Go in here and just play any kind of music that you would like or you can play music from your phone as well. So you can see here, I can actually go in and set the temperature of the car. I can turn down the AC or turn it up or set it on auto. And I have the ability to call support as well, which is pretty cool because they do jump on the line. Like you can hear the support in vehicle and you can communicate with them, which is, it's just pretty awesome. The whole experience here is just mind blowing. Hi Dom, this is Maya with Waymo Rider Support. I receive a notification that you hit pull over. I accidentally hit that. Uh, it wasn't uh, on purpose or anything. Everything's fine. Okay. All right, well, um, since you have me on the phone, is there anything else that I can help you with? No, that'll be it. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a great day, okay? Thanks, you too. So as you heard right there, that was my brief interaction with rider support. If you have a problem, if you have to pull over or anything like that, you are connected to the support system here and they literally hop on inside of the vehicle and talk to you uh, to make sure that everything's all right and make sure the ride is going smoothly. Now, in case you didn't know, these are fully electronic vehicles. So there's no gas. It's very safe for the environment, safe for humans as well as we've determined with the car accidents thing. Uh, they're just great all around. And like I said, there's so much technology packed into this vehicle. It's absolutely insane. So you're probably wondering about the core technology behind all of this. Well, that's Waymo Driver, and it's both software and hardware that was developed entirely in-house to enable the autonomous driving that we're doing right now. And this technology can be applied to various vehicle platforms from cars to trucks to drive them autonomously and power multiple use cases from ride hailing to trucking to local delivery. So I am on my way back to my place and uh, I'm sitting in the front now because I just thought it was crazy that you can have up to three people in here. You can have somebody in the front passenger seat and literally next to me, there is no driver here. Like nobody's driving this vehicle. 
<laughs> the lights are on, but no one's driving. Um, I just think that this is really, really cool. So if you happen to live in a supported area like San Francisco, Los Angeles, or Phoenix, Arizona, definitely be sure to download the Waymo app so you can start testing out this autonomous ride hailing service for yourself. It's pretty awesome. I'm so curious to know what you think about this kind of technology. Do you think this is safe? Do you trust riding in a vehicle, taking you places when nobody is driving? Because I mean, for me, I've been kind of on the fence, but after taking this ride, it's honestly, it's a better driver than I am. So I can't really complain about that, but I would love to know your thoughts about that in the comments section. So really all of this is absolutely crazy. And I am very honored that we have some kind of autonomous ride service here in Phoenix. It's pretty awesome, but uh, all the technicalities and everything are so interesting, how it uses LIDAR, how it uses the cameras around the outside and radar to sense where it's going and autonomously take me wherever I want to go within reason within uh, the Metro Phoenix area. It's just wild. And I would love to know what you think about this technology down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video though, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new around here to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future. I really do appreciate all the support everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is Dom and I will catch you in the next video. And that is how you ride with Waymo. It's pretty crazy.